Hey, this is Ron and Go Boom, and welcome to my trap tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you what I call my base lockdown kill mechanism. Let's take a look at this over here. So we're going to come into my base, and I have a skeleton spawner here. I have my chest area. Let's grind some skeletons for a little bit. Ah, what the? Ah, oh, somebody's in my base. Oh. Ah, uh, they killed me. But don't worry, I know how to deal with this. I respawn in my spawn spot, and I hit the lockdown lever. Haha, <laughs> and I can hear him dying. There we go. They died, and all their stuff is getting absorbed in the hoppers. Now I can go collect my stuff and their stuff. Now I'll just come over here to turn it off. And it's back to normal. And we can go about our business again. All right, so let's take a look at how this works. If you haven't noticed already, this base is a little bit more special than it might originally seem. The floor is covered in half slabs because there are hoppers lining underneath. And they all stream over here into this one consolidation chest where I can pick up all the items that fall on that floor. Up here, we have pistons that push down into the ceiling. Up here in my spawn room, I have a lever, and when turned on, it pushes all the pistons, it pushes down the ceiling of every single piston, pushing down and suffocating any player who's left inside it. And this is not regular ice, this is packed ice, so it actually suffocates enemies. Then when we're done, we can run over here <laughs> to our really simple piston jumper device. Turn it off, and we can go down and grab the loot out of the chest. Let's build one together so you can see how it's made. I'm going to build a little bit smaller one, because we don't need to make one of that scale. But you can really make it as big as you want. So first we're going to start off by having a place for these hoppers to go. So what we need is a chest to have all that loot collected. And we're going to put it right here, and, and we're just going to fill up the floor with hoppers. I can fast forward through this part. We're going to make a tiny version of that house over there. So all these hoppers are eventually going to point into that chest right there. Simple. Then we line the top with slabs to hide those hoppers and make it look a little bit inconspicuous. You can use any type of slabs you like. We're going to have outer walls and then we're just going to build up the walls. Next we want to have pistons that cover the entire ceiling. So we're going to go up a couple blocks just like this. And we want those pistons to push the block on top of our head. So this is where we want the block to be to suffocate us. So we put the bit pistons one higher. Pistons are going to go right here just like that. So we're going to put pistons at every spot in the ceiling. Fill it in with blocks. Then we're going to come up top and we're going to just put blocks on top of each of the pistons. And then redstone on top of each of the blocks. Next we just hook up that redstone to a lever, and now we can test it out with some skeletons. Works like a charm, and then you can collect their loot when you're done. The last thing we're going to do is decorate this up a little bit so it doesn't look like a trap. Um, I guess I'm going to change this because I, it would be easier to hide it underneath, like that. Then we're going to put blocks out front to make a little staircase going in. We're going to cover up the pistons. We're going to add a little bit of decoration to make it look a little bit more like home. And there we have it, our fully functional trap. Just make sure your lever is at an easy to reach location. This trap can also work really well as a hallway or a doorway between rooms. Make sure you hit that like button, it really helps me out. If we can get 300 likes on this video, I'll build a trap for a random commenter on factions. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to check out my channel for more trap videos. Click here for my factions let's play, or here for my undetectable proximity trigger tutorial video. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends after you kill them a few times.